See, this is why we don't go to a Halloween store before beggar's night. <laughs> I am scared. Lonnie quit. I don't like being scared that much. My daughter's hanging on me and my son has no clue what's going on. But see, this is the reason why you don't ever go the night before. Because you get photobombed by your kids and then everybody and their mothers over here. It's nuts. Oh, and this is the fun place where all the teenagers try to look beyond their age and all the moms try to catch up. Halloween costumes, gotta go figure. And this is what happens when kids are let loose in the store. So if anybody watching has got kids, please keep an eye on them at all times. Especially in a Halloween store. I'm blonde. No, this is one of my buys at the uh, Halloween store you just saw. Yeah, <laughs> This is one of my buys. This is part of my costume. See, I'm a very frizzy blonde. It's actually a blonde page boy. And the model wears it a hell of a lot better than I do. <laughs> but it's so pretty. And you can still see my stuff underneath it. And it kind of sucks. But that's one of them. Because it's, I'm going to have a crown on top of my head and a whole nine. and it, It's going to look better than what it really is. <laughs> Hopefully, because I've got to put hairspray in it and a whole nine, and it's going to be a mess. But, yes, I'm I'm so pretty full. I'm such a blonde. But, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to get real hot real quick. But my next find is, what well, now, bitches? My freaking Deadpool shirt, or not shirt, <laughs> hat. I've got Deadpool shirts like crazy. But, oh yeah, my little, my Deadpool hat. The last one on the freaking rack. I'm so happy I grabbed it because I pissed somebody else off because they wanted it. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Anyways, after getting wig and I have a wig cap, actually. <laughs> see? See? Wig cap. Because I kind of need it for because my purple hair's got to stick out of the blonde wig a little bit. I don't want everybody like, getting confused. And my hat. And my daughter's R2-D2 hat. Don't ask. And getting two treat bags, buckets. <sighs> $76 later... That was freaking unreal. I didn't think it was going to cost all that much. Oh, yes, and I got a pair of Doctor Who socks, too. I'm so excited. Because <laughs> I already have a um, TARDIS necklace. It's actually right here, actually. See? It's pretty. My little TARDIS necklace. Not wearing it right now because the chain's too short. I hate 18-inch chains because they feel like they're choking me. <laughs> so I'm... I'm, I make jewelry and I have chain coming out the yin yang. So, I am going to be putting a new chain on that thing. Because it needs it. It's going to be a little bit longer. And hopefully, what I mean by longer, it doesn't get buried within the girls down here. So, anyway, I'm going to get this thing off my head because it's like squeezing my brain and it kind of hurts. Because I've got a headache right now. And it sucks. But, yeah. <laughs> And people, and it, when I was wandering around the store, it was funny, because I, I had my camera up and the whole night, and I'm recording all this, and people are looking at me like, the fuck are you doing talking to your phone? And I'm like, YouTubing. Sorry. You know, they didn't get it. And of course, they weren't just staring at me because of that, because apparently I was celebrating Halloween early with my purple hair. It kind of sucked. And people were going, pss, 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 pss. that crowd full of people, and people are still surprised to see that kind of colored hair. But yet, there was a girl that walked in with this bright blue hair. And I mean, it was aqua. You know that big, that bright blue aqua? It's a really pretty color. <laughs> I wish I could pull it off without going pale. You know? <clears throat> and, yeah. They didn't do nothing to her. Oh, no, no, no. Me with the shaved head and purple hair. Oh, yes. I'm the freak. Really, people? Colored hair is this kind of do. The shave. And... Having this here the whole night, that's the look nowadays. And actually, to tell you the truth, I love this. <laughs> I've been waiting for an excuse to do this. 
because I had such long hair and it gave me such headaches and such migraines, I had to be put on prescription medication. And now I get an excuse to buzz my head. <laughs> I'm doing it from a medical standpoint. I have horrible migraines. And it and it gets really bad. Um, and now I don't have to take that prescription medication anymore. All I have to do is take Excedrin and I'm good, you know. And that happens once in a blue moon, which is even better. Oh my God, it's even better. <sighs> but yeah, that Halloween store full of people. There's girls... <sighs> Not running into my daughter because apparently they're so enthralled with the 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 more boobage they can show through their costume. <laughs> you know, I don't have a problem with with the sexy costumes if you can fit it, which is fine. You know, I would wear them if I could, but it looked kind of weird on me. It looked like my stomach and the rest of my body would try to swallow the shit. You know, wouldn't look good. <laughs> I actually wanted to do a female Deadpool, which is Lady Deadpool. If anybody doesn't know that, I want to do that really fucking bad. You don't understand how bad, but I'm not the figure to pull it off with. I'd have to wear Spanx like crazy. I'll wake pretty much up to my neck, you know? And if that, nobody knows what Spanx is, it's S P A N X. Go look it up. It tucks everything in. <laughs> Those are my friends. <laughs> that was weird. There was a toilet paper roll sitting there, and it was just fine. And then all of a sudden, it just goes, <clears throat> I didn't touch it, didn't breathe on it, didn't fart anywhere near it, nothing. <sighs> it's Halloween, hello. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be putting up a lot of posts, actually. And a few of them are older. I haven't had a chance to post them up yet or do them up yet, so sorry about that. I have a bunch of stuff on there. I have one about Photoshop. I have one about teachers. You know, I have... Teachers, it's it's, it's more like a rant. <laughs> because I'm a parent. I have I have one kid in, in school. And in four more years, I'm going to have another one. Yeah, it's me. Uh, I don't name, name any, any... If I could edit this, I would. But I can't. <laughs> Not right now until I get the proper software. But <laughs> I don't name any names. I don't name, you know, the school or the teachers that I'm talking about or anything like that. I find a bunch of them off a of Whisper app, if you guys have that. <laughs> go go look at the ones of, uh, of teachers. And, oh, I teach this class and I play matchmaker. So thankful that my daughter is not in your class. Well, she could, and then one person goes, well, she could be, and you'll never know. And I said, then that teacher and I was going to have a long talk, but especially when this person is located out in California and I'm here in Ohio, it ain't going to happen. Please, quit playing matchmaker. Teach the kids. Don't worry about their love life, okay? Anyways, <laughs> enough of that. I've got a whole other video for that shit. <sighs> So, yes, wasn't it fun that my daughter decided to go in front of the camera? Oh, irked me. <laughs> I'm going to stop it. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. She loves going into that store, but she doesn't like all the scary stuff that goes out at you. And it's... I keep trying to tell her she can't have it both ways, but she's trying. It doesn't work that way. But, of course, I'm an adult. I'm a parent. What do I know? <laughs> We're already at that stage already. She's now 11 years old, and it sucks. Help me. <laughs> but, yeah. <sighs> but, yeah, that was, that was stuff that, A, I wanted to buy for myself because I haven't bought anything for myself in a long time. And I mean a long time. And... My husband goes, oh, look, Doctor Who socks. And I went, oh, look, a Deadpool hat. And he goes, okay. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm not used to, I'm not used to having that. And I'm, re I'm really not. I'm not used to having the people go, okay, that's fine. You know, go ahead. <sighs> Who in the hell are you? And what have you done with the people I know? You know, and my husband's not like that, really. He, he's more like, whatever makes you happy, honey, go ahead. You know, and that's the best kind of guy to have. 
Even if it doesn't work out, he's not the one that sits there and says, I told you so. I don't know what I did, <laughs> but it's awesome. Uh, this upcoming Friday, we'll be married for four years. <sighs> it feels more like 20. Oy, it does really feel like more like 20. I'm serious. Because <laughs> it feels like we've been together forever. Because before we got married, we were... He was 25, or I was 25 and he was 27 when we started dating. And let's see. And it's five. We've been together a total of eight years. And four of that's dating and four of that's married. So, yeah. Longest relationship I've ever been in. I'm not kidding. My max was like two years. Yeah. And... Tell you the truth, couldn't couldn't have picked a better guy. And I know he may be he may be goofy and the whole nine, but you know, you, you, it's not a take what you can get. It's girls you got to be picky, okay? If you got a guy that has no problem sleeping with you on the first go round, and says that he loves you two weeks in and the whole nine, you got to question it, okay? Seriously, you have to question it. I'm sorry, I keep looking at the screen over here and going, oh my God, there's makeup running all over the place. I didn't even put any on today, and it looks like I did. <sighs> Ew. I still have some on when I wiped it off. What the hell? Hot soapy water. That's it. Don't buy any of them, them damn makeup baby wipe things to wipe all over your face. <laughs> Don't buy those. Those are a bunch of junk. I hate those things. Because <laughs> they don't get all the makeup off. Because I got crap in my eyes. And I got mascara and eyeliner on my hand now. And I uh, don't get everything off. <sighs> but anyways. But girls, when it comes to guys, be picky. Be picky. Okay. I remember a scene in Clueless where they're all sitting there at the uh, at the table at oh, whatever restaurant they skipped seven eight uh, seven eighth and ninth period and yeah and they go over to the you know to the restaurant and they're sitting there you know checking out the guys and the whole nine and 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 Cher was sitting there explaining why she was still a virgin. And she goes, well, I'm picky about my shoes and they only go on my feet. So if I'm going to be picky about a guy and you go to go there, it's worth it. And she's, believe it or not, with that, that movie, she's right. If you're going to be picky about stuff, be picky about everything, including your guys. Okay? Because you might sit there and think that you're a big girl and, and... You know, and that you don't, you don't think you're good enough for anybody, or or you're only good enough to get this type of level guy, and not up here. And... Trust me, you're worth every bit of it. Okay, it's the confidence factor. All right, a lot of, and I'm talking about any girls, and I'm skinny, big, you know, short, tall, any girls. You have that kind of self doubt. The guys are going to pick up on that. And you're only going to get the jerks and the losers and the guys that want to sit there and use you for a good time. That's it. That's all you're going to get. That's all you're going to get. But if you sit there and you have confidence and you emit it, you're going to get a whole hell of a lot of better choices out there. You're going to get the smart ones. You're going to get the good looking ones. Hell, you might even get the ones all rolled up in one package. You know? I mean, everybody's seen my husband. I don't know you guys' opinions on him, but I think he's good looking. I think he's smart. You know, I think, <clears throat> what the hell did I do to get something like that? You know, and especially with a son with him. Oh my goodness. You know, it's like, what the hell did I do? And just, you know, be more self-confident. Whether, whether you're 
or it, and it, this goes for anybody, whether you're gay, whether you're straight, whether you're transgender, doesn't matter. Okay, goes for everybody. Be picky, but be confident. Okay, do not go for second best because that's where you get in trouble. That's where you get the deadbeat dads. That's where you get the ones that that bump and run. You know, bump and run. I mean, and okay, later. You know, <laughs> I haven't had any of those, thank goodness. I, a couple guys, I kind of wish they were, so I wouldn't have to deal with the bullshit, but, but seriously, emit confidence. Sit there and tell yourself that you're awesome every day, okay? Because I try to do that. I try to admit that I'm confident. I try to admit, emit, not admit, no. emit that I'm awesome. And that I deserve no less. No. Don't pay attention to the nose outside the door. That is my husband talking to my son. <laughs> it's not contradicting anything I'm saying right now. So, okay. And it, for Halloween, if you want to go out and wear that sexy ass costume, do wear that sexy ass costume, but fucking own it. Okay. Don't sit there and be all coward and scared and the whole nine and, you know. And then there are people like, oh, well, okay. If you're going to wear something like that, walk at least walk, you know, or something like that. If you're going to sit there and go out in one of those sexy-ass costumes, especially the big girls or, you know, anything like that, you got to walk out in something like that. Fucking own that shit. Walk like you're walking down a goddamn runway and be like, mm-hmm, what? <laughs> Don't have that, that bad of an attitude behind it, you know. But seriously, just, yeah, I'm wearing this. You're not. Get over it kind of deal. Don't worry about what anybody else says. Don't want to worry about what anybody else thinks because they're not you. And if it's a complete and utter stranger, tell them to fuck off. <laughs> I do. Shit, there was a couple girls there. I was sitting there looking at Harley Quinn shit again. Of course, you know, I love her. And, you know, they still had the corsets there in the whole night. And I was sitting there looking at it going, God, I wish they were kind of better material and stuff like that because it was that pleather crap. Mm. One girl looks at me like do you really think you should be looking at that? And I was like, do you really think you should be talking to me that way? Pfft, please. <laughs> you go make it into one of my videos. Uh, and you just did. <laughs> but yeah, those were like kind of the same girls that almost ran my daughter over. High school, don't give a shit about anything else around their little bubble. <laughs> Except for themselves, which I hate those kind of girls. Hate them with a passion. Because they pretend that... that you know, oh, we care about everything. Oh, look, you know, it's like they have OC, <laughs> or not OCDs, uh, ADD. OCDs, uh, yeah. I have that. My OCD is everything has to be balanced and even. <laughs> and I know when I'm doing it too, and I feel like absolute shit after I do it. But um, ADD, it's like, oh, I love all that. Oh, look at that. And then you're sitting there going, what? You know, I mean, of course, you know, I turned into mama bear mode, of course. And I went, lie. Get out of the road of the people that can't pay attention to where they're going. And I said it loud enough for them to hear. And they just looked at me going, well, should you be really looking at that shit? And I said, should you really be talking to me like that right now? Conversation went a little bit further to the point of, uh, well, you're talking to us like that. And I said, I bet you didn't even know that you almost ran into my daughter. And they're going, no. I said, exactly. I said, get out of your bubble before it gets popped by somebody. Ugh. And those are the ones going, oh, I can wear this and get away with it. And fuck, no, you can't. You going to have that bad attitude with it? Uh, you going to make the costume look bad. That's it. People are dumb, especially high schoolers that think they know everything. And I'm sorry, it, I'm not saying all high schoolers are like that. Most, most of them are. And it hasn't changed since I went to school, okay? It has not. You can pick them out in a fucking lineup. They're on their phone and they're too busy talking to their friends and all this other shit. No. Buried ass deep in the crap that they don't need to be getting into. Or they need to be smarter about, or anything like that. But they, they're they doing it because it's cool. So, whatever. But any hoosers, 
How's everybody doing? <laughs> Remember I tell you be good to each other because that's all, all we've got left. Can we please get that filter down into the high school and maybe start it in the middle school, please? Because it really sucks that when they're adults, it's they kind of get it. You know, and not every adult gets it. And when you're in high school, you don't care. You know, that's why there's the, the teachers, they're there. The teachers, any teachers that are watching this, anybody that's parents that are teachers, watch this, please. Get the kids to give a shit. Don't sit there and hand them packets and tell them to do this and that and the other in their books. It's quiet time. Come on, get them to give a shit. Get them to care. Get them to try. Because right now, you are part of the problem of this generation that we got going on right now. Not giving a shit, ain't nothing my fault. Oh, fuck you. Come on. I, I Trust me, if anybody, it's a parent that's watching this, you don't want me as a teacher. <laughs> because I will be teaching Common Sense 101. <laughs> and I will invite teachers to my class, other teachers to my class, and parents too. No. And don't go, you know, on my... Twitter or, or Facebook or anything like that, especially people that know me personally, don't sit there and be like, you should do that. Be, no. <laughs> no. I don't have a teaching certificate, so I'm not qualified yet. That's my excuse. <laughs> but anyways. But yeah. Uh, I love going to the Halloween store, but I hate the people that are in it. And that wonder in it. Ugh. Anyways. So, hopefully, tomorrow... I will be showing off everybody's costumes. I'm so proud of I'm so proud of finally what I did. Oh, took me for fucking ever to get the pieces that I needed. And I had to adjust some and I've still gotta make those damn crowns. Oh my god, I completely forgot about it until now. You guys will figure out what I'm doing, so like I said, be good to each other. We're all we've got left. 